In this quick lesson, we're going to focus on how to beam an entity and basically create a portal system within Flowgraph. I have a basic scene set up here where it's tag points, a Flowgraph node, we have a spawn point, and then we have these proximity triggers which will house where the player enters to basically beam one end or the other. It's also important to note that these tag points need to be facing outward so then when you walk in, you'll be facing towards the other teleporter. So it's very important that these axes are shown to be pointing downward, like with this yellow arrow. So in the logic, I'm going to create a flow graph, and we'll call this one portal underscore FG. And inside of my flow graph, I'm ready to start building it. So let's add some of the things from our scene, like our spawn points and our proximity triggers, because they're all going to be used inside of the flow graph. So selecting all, I'm going to add those selected entities. So that's proximity 1, and this is proximity 2. And inside of this, we're going to keep the inverse of the tag points connected to both. So I have the spawn point at the beginning, which I know that I want to start with that spawn point. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to beam the entity. So the entity would be me. The first thing I want to do is Q beam. And we're going to set up beam entity for both of these. We'll take the positional output and put it into the positional input. And we'll copy C, V, this into place. So now that I have the beam entity there, I want to push the local player there. So let's go to Q, local, player, and we'll add that to both of these. Control C, Control V, go once more. And I'm going to shrink down the tag points because we're not going to use them for anything more. So now we have the proximity triggers sitting here, and I want to create something that's a true-false value. So we can go to a math or a boolean2 and grab that again, and we're going to copy and paste both of these for enter, which is true, or enter, which is false. Now let's go ahead and copy and paste both of these again, because we want to be able to take the logic and intertwine it. The next thing I'm going to do is take a Q blocker because I know that I want to block the logic of the beam. So we'll beam into this, control C, control V. And now we know that we want to beam the entity to this position. So moving the spawn point out of the way, let's grab one of these Boolean 2s and we're going to initialize a value at the beginning and that's going to be false. So now I have multiple booleans that are wanting to go into the logic blocker. Well, the logic blocker to begin with is going to be this. So on enter, it should go through, but we need to check the true-false value on that. So let's select both of these enters and make sure they're connected. And now what we're ready to do is grab a logic any node. So if we go to logic any, we can put this here. And we'll put this other one here because we have to kind of interconnect them. I'm going to make some space, move this down just a little bit so we're not as scrunched up. And let's look at what we're doing. On the beginning, we noted that we want to send it to be false. So this first Boolean 2 will go there. The next thing that we want to check is we want to check if this is true on this or if this is true on this. And then on this, we actually don't cross over, and we just check false directly. So now what we want to do is we want to connect this block into here, and let's not forget about the true and false Boolean 2 operations we need to connect up as well. So now we should be good with enter up here, so it goes true, false, and it's actually saying the block is there, and on both of these we have false, and then we're actually connecting or intertwining them through the true on both of these Boolean 2s. Then we have the blocker going into the beam entity, and both of them are the local player. Let's go ahead and make a comment box so we can separate them. So we'll call this one teleporter underscore one, and let's make that white. And we'll house all of the basic first teleporter logic inside of this. Let's go ahead and select most of it and move it up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the other one. And we'll house 
the second one inside of this. Let's grab this, move it down as well. And then we'll create another comment box for the initialize. It's always good to keep it all organized so you know exactly what's going on. You never know if you'll have to pass this on to somebody else after you do it. So now we have our basic teleport system working. Let's go ahead and rip this off. And then we're going to put this on the bottom. And with debugging selected, we're going to be able to see if there are any problems within our graph. So pressing Control S to save, and then Control G, I go in. And I'm going to walk through, and I go to the other side. This will give you a basic teleporter system that's similar to Halo or any other games where you can cross back and forth between the portals to actually have a level mechanic in your game.